Ladies and gentlemen, the president and CEO of Toyota Motor Corporation, Akio Toyota. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks so much for joining us. As evident from everything you see and hear at CES, virtually every industry is trying to predict the future. And from my perspective, no one wants a crystal ball as much as the automobile industry. Everyone wants to know when will cars truly drive themselves? When will they know what I'm thinking? When will they fly? And more importantly, when will cars actually transform into giant robots? Now, we might not be working on the Toyota Transformer, but we are focused on the future of connectivity, autonomy, shared mobility, and electrification, or case, as we call it. In addition, we are pursuing the future of artificial intelligence, human mobility, robotics, material sciences, and sustainable energies. Currently, we research and test this technology in various labs around the world, such as the Toyota Research Institute and Toyota Connected. But it occurred to us, what if we had the opportunity to do it all in one place, in a real life environment, instead of a simulated one? This was on our mind when we were making plans to close a factory in Japan, and we were wondering what to do with this soon to be available land near Mount Fuji. As a matter of fact, I took these pictures. How about that? Thank you. We considered creating another testing site for autonomy like MCT in Michigan, but when we had one of those aha moments, you know, like opera does, we thought, why not build a real city and have real people live in it and safety test all kinds of technologies? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm here to announce today on this 175 acre site in Higashi Fuji, Japan, we have decided to build a prototype town of the future where people live, work, play, and participate in a living laboratory. Imagine a fully controlled site that would allow researchers, engineers, and scientists the opportunity to freely test technology such as autonomy, mobility as a service, robotics, smart home connected technology, AI, and more in a real world environment. This will be a truly unique opportunity to create an entire community or city from the ground up and allow us to build an infrastructure of the future that is connected digital and sustainable. Powered by Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell technologies, it will be a chance to collaborate with other business partners and to invite all interested scientists and researchers from around the world to come work on their own project for a few months at a time or however long they please. This was the idea when we called upon the legendary Danish architect, Bjarat Ingels, to help bring our vision to life. Bjarat and his team, the Bjarat Ingels Group, also known as BIG, have created some of the most exciting and groundbreaking new architecture currently being built around the world. Graham, 
skyscrapers in Vancouver and in New York, to the number two World Trade Center, to Google's new headquarters, to museums for companies like Lego, to communities of the future on water, and even on Mars. Our collaboration and friendship was immediate and intense, and we bonded over a mutual inability to speak English without an accent. <laughs> After eight months of research work and collaboration, this is our vision. Ladies and gentlemen, to tell you a bit more about our Toyota Woven City, please welcome Bialka Ingalls. Thank you, Akio. And, and just for the record, to my ears, you speak the most beautiful English. <laughs> so uh, let me quickly take you through our thinking as we designed the master plan with Akio and his team. So basically today, the typical street is a mess with everything and nothing everywhere. So we started by splitting the typical street into three separate forms of mobility. The first type is for faster transportation and every vehicle is autonomous with zero emissions and street trees create the necessary distinction between people and vehicles. The second type will be an urban promenade shared by pedestrians and slower personal mobility. And the final type of street will be a linear park with paths for pedestrians only. So imagine walking from one part of town to the other, moving only through a park. So these three types of streets will then weave together into a woven grid of three by three city blocks, each framing a local park or courtyard. This not only creates a more serene living environment, but also provides a wide variety of intersections between various kinds of users, between humans and animals and vehicles and even robots. And this also helps accelerate Toyota's testing of autonomy and smart city infrastructure. So this is one of the city's typical blocks. The roofs are clad in photovoltaic tiles to power the city. All of the buildings are made primarily out of carbon neutral wood and they combine the traditional craft of Japanese wood joinery with new robotic production methods. In a way, we can preserve and evolve the old traditions through new technology. And each block is home to a mix of spaces for living and working and playing. Below ground, we find the entire infrastructure of the city, including its hydrogen power storage and water filtration systems. A network for the autonomous delivery of goods also takes place underground and connects directly to the buildings above. 
Homes in the Rogan City will serve as test sites for new technology, such as in-home robotics, to assist with daily life. So these smart homes will take advantage of full connectivity using sensor-based AI to do things automatically, like restocking your fridge, or taking out your trash, or even taking care of how healthy you are. And of course, the best part is that these homes will have spectacular views of Mount Fuji. So if we go back on the ground, a major piece of the puzzle in the, uh, in the whole city is the Toyota e pallet an autonomous vehicle that will serve for shared transportation and mobile retail. It is also going to make uh, deliveries to the research and development labs, which rise above the central plaza. And the e-pallets will also help create flexible programming in the central plaza, making the plaza the rebirth of the marketplace, the town square, or even the fairground. So in an age when technology, social media, and online retail is replacing and eliminating our natural meeting places, the Woven City will explore ways to stimulate human interaction in, in the urban space. After all, human connectivity is the kind of connectivity that triggers well-being and happiness, productivity and innovation. So here you have it, nested at the base of Mount Fuji, the Toyota Woven City. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bjarka, I'm sure everyone here is wondering, when can they move in? Uh, exactly. And, and, and that, is, that is, first of all, very much up to you, boss. But uh, for, for now, the thinking is to break ground in phases with the first groundbreaking happening already in 2021. You do know that's on the year way, right? I, I am uh, very much aware of that. <laughs> hey, we'll get going. Yeah, for sure. Be Arca Ingalls, ladies and gentlemen. So here's who we envision living in our woven cities. Toyota employees and their families, retired couples, retailers, visiting scientists, industry partners, and of course, all of you, roughly 2,000 people to start and more as it grows. I suppose you could say, this is my personal field of dreams. You know, if you build it, they will come. But having the opportunity to build an entire city from the ground up, even on a very small scale like this, is in many respects, the opportunity of lifetime. We plan to build our city in the virtual world first, creating a digital twin that will allow us to test our theories before we build. This in turn will create a one of a kind digital operating system for our city. One that perhaps others will be able to use with people buildings and vehicles, all connected and communicating with each other through data and sensors. We will be able to test AI technology in both the virtual and the physical world, maximizing its potential. We want to turn artificial intelligence into intelligence amplified in a world where the negative aspects of artificial intelligence seem to be on the rise. This will be an opportunity to apply it with integrity and trust. We also view this as a chance to work with like-minded companies and individuals. In fact, we plan to roll out the welcome mat to anyone interested in participating in this project with us, to anyone inspired to improve the way we live in the future. So by now, you may be thinking, has this guy lost his mind? <laughs> Is he like a Japanese version of Willy Wonka? <laughs> Perhaps. But I truly believe 
This is a project that can benefit everyone, not just Toyota. If you didn't know, Toyota actually began as a loom manufacturer. We didn't start by building cars, but it began by weaving fabrics. And now we hope to use the technology to weave together a new kind of city and a new way of enjoying life as a company committed to mobility for all. And as global citizens, I believe it's up to all of us, especially corporations like Toyota, to do our part to help make the world a better place. It's a responsibility and a promise we don't take lightly. And this woven city is one small, but hopefully significant step toward fulfilling that promise. Thank you very much. Please stop by our booth in the North Hall and experience our woven city in a full 360 degrees. You can also visit our Toyota IP Solutions display and talk to one of Toyota's talented engineers about licensing Toyota patents. And finally, Toyota IA Ventures will display their Call for Innovation Investment Strategy and feature three portfolio startups. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy CES.